Okay. Woo! Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, C Key here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And um, it's been a hot minute since I've done a tutorial or a get ready with me, or just since I've sat in front of the camera like this close. I'm just saying. Um, I did a lookbook that I have up on my channel, a fall lookbook that you guys could check out. I will link somewhere in this video, okay? And um, I'm feeling all kinds of brand new. I miss y'all though, I totally miss y'all. And my lapel mic that I usually have on me it died on today. I was like, really? You gonna quit on me now? Like now? So I hope that all is well, all right? So I have a bunch of new products that I wanna share today. I did do a Periscope, you guys, of like an unboxing of a bunch of PR stuff that I have. So I am gonna put I don't, I'm gonna put my Periscope uh, handle, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my Periscope handle in the description box so you guys can go check it out because from my understanding, you can go back as far as you want to and watch Periscopes, okay? It was just easier because I usually Snapchat stuff, but I didn't want to keep pressing that button. I wasn't about that life last night, so I did a Periscope. So, enough of that and let's get into some of these goodies that we're gonna use. Number one, I want to incorporate these new Makeup Geek shadows because I've been loving them. They came out with some foil shadows and some matte shadows. One of these babies is giving Coco Bear a run for his money. I'm just saying. So I want to incorporate these as well as I got this new palette, this Naked Ultimate Basics palette by Urban Decay. And I do endeavor to use this solely and add one of these foil shadows. Like that's what's going on in my mind. We're going to see what comes out on my face okay because y'all know I don't really practice beforehand so this is my first time using this palette these are supposed to be all new colors to the Urban Decay line and I think this is limited edition but don't quote me because I did not do my research but I am gonna do a video coming up where I do swatches of both of the Urban Decay Naked Basics, like the one and two, and I'm gonna compare it to this. Even though they're brand new shadows, I just wanna see how close they are, cause I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't do that, you feel me? I also showed this on Snapchat. This is a collection from It Cosmetics. It is, let me get that lighting, get it together, all right. It is their Color Infused Skincare featuring your Bye Bye collection, and it's all skin stuff. Oh shoot, maybe I can do this concealer too. But anyway, this is what it looks like. They have some face cream, some eye cream, and a primer that I took out, which is what we're gonna use today. And I've been loving this. I've been rocking this like, well, last weekend. I was rocking it all weekend. And it's a primer. It is an oil-free, poreless skin perfecting serum primer. Now, it does not indicate that it's mattifying. And to be honest, I really did not read all the properties on it, but it does help with the pores and I really like it. The only thing I don't like is that it does leave a little cast, but y'all gonna see that and we'll talk about it when I get to it. Another thing that I received that I talked about on Periscope 2 are these multitasking perfecting powders by Becca. Of course, three are missing because I'm going to attempt to use those today. And I got these strobing powders from LA Girl, which I intend on trying. So there, those are, it's like five of them that I have. I think it's a collection of 12, I'm not sure, but I do plan on trying that. And then I also got some lip pencils from The Bomb, and so I may be incorporating this in today too, if I find one really deep, or perhaps I'll do a new color. I don't even know, let's go. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys. Like, you guys, I feel like it's the first day of school right now, cause I'm like really nervous. But I think I wanna go with the smoky eye. And so, I'm thinking that I'm going to be using this color right here, that burgundy color, which is called Letho. Okay, Letho. First, I'm going to use a brown pencil just to make whatever look I do opaque because I'm, I'm, I'm attempting to do a smoky eye. I have really been loving smoky eyes lately and I don't know why. Oh, and I do have other videos that I need to get out that'll probably go up before this one. But um, I've just been so behind on editing too because I've just been busy. So the best way for you guys to keep up with me is on Snapchat, I promise. Ooh, Faith is a little light. Faith is kind of like, is it my skin tone? I guess so. Now we're gonna go into Letho. Am I gonna regret this? It's really dark. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a really pretty color. I don't know why I thought this was a different color than what it is, but we're gonna work with it. It's gonna be kinda 
so true. I think I'm gonna use this color right here, Instinct, just to go around it. Since they're kind of in the same family, we'll see how I like it afterwards. Blend together really, really well though. I was planning on using this foil shadow like in the inner corner, but this is really not the same color scheme. So I may have to pull out my other foil. You see, that's that's what I that's what I envisioned in my mind, but that's not working out that way. I'm gonna try this color right here. It's like a yellow color. And I hardly ever use yellow brow bone colors, but we're gonna try it. This color is pre-game. It's actually, oh, it's actually not too shabby. I just like peach though, but that works. Blend because to blend is your friend. And blending is key. I have really been digging this Milani liner, so we are gonna go with that. I'm gonna do a little tiny wing. Well, y'all know my tiny wings end up being like ginormous wings. I think before I put on that wing liner, I'm gonna go into this color Pillow Talk by Makeup Geek, which is right there. Um, it's kind of like a, I think it's a foil shadow, or is it a duochrome? But I'm just gonna put it right here. <gasps> That works. I love this color because it can look silver, but then when you look this way, it can look like purple, but then you look another way and it can look like pink. So maybe it's a triple curl. And you can take it over as far as you want. I think I want to take it over a little bit more. Let's put on some of this wing liner. We are going to go with my favorite lashes and I'm going to reuse these babies. And these are the Coco Misha lashes. I like wearing these with a natural look or even if I'm doing drama like on today. You see that? girl black liner really just makes me like pow i don't do it a lot not in my whole eye so now i'm gonna take this color that i used on the lid and i'm gonna go under my lash line with it i'm gonna smoke that out and i'll bring it all the way down you better smoke that lash line girl do you smoke only my eyes <laughs> i'm gonna go in with this primer by it cosmetics the ones i told the ones the one I told you guys about, look at that. It's so creamy. It's like a moisturizer and it spreads. You don't even need that much. You see what I'm saying? You don't need a lot at all. And since it's kind of like a moisturizer, I just put it everywhere, really. Because it's really, it really feels good. It's really, what is, I told y'all I'm new to this all today. Spreads real good. Doesn't really feel like it has a whole lot of silicone in it, although I do feel a little. But it's nothing like Benefits Professional, which I don't really care for for that reason because it's too slippery feeling. It makes me feel like I can't put on the rest of my makeup because I'm slipping and sliding. But this doesn't do that, but it does have a little bit of that feel. And now I'm going to do a little color correcting with my peach, peach smoothie. I must miss it. Not peach smoothie, my peach luster. Now I correct a little bit up here because, of course, that's where my glasses go and it leaves some marks, these new glasses I have. I'm telling you, once you start doing your makeup, like the eyes begin to pop. I'm gonna try this Clinique foundation. Now, I bought this prior to my like big old tan that I got when I went to the beach, but it's been a few weeks now. So I'm hoping that life is great because I really wanna wear it. And this is, I have a video on it too. It is the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup. And my color is 18 Silk Sable. But y'all know, if it's not working out for my life, I will make it work. Thank you guys for telling me about the pump. I got a MAC pump. Now, I'm not gonna say that it's the greatest because I feel like I have to pump a couple of times to get it started, but it works. I don't have to pour it on top of my hand. All right, so let's see how this goes. Girl, we got this. Don't be alarmed. Don't be startled. I like a lot of foundation. But I was trying to tell you guys when I realized that the memory card went out, I was gonna say, you know what foundation I've been loving as well? Can you guess? It is the Urban Decay Foundation. I really like that too. That new one, the, um, gosh, I can't even think of the name. All Nighter. I like it a lot. It got to get that right there and blend that out into the hairline, honey. I'm going with some concealers that I love. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Like I find myself going to them more and more and more. I still love my Maybelline, but these, they're just, I don't, I'm getting addicted. I do mix them though, cause th that doesn't give me enough highlight. This is the color dark. And then I let this sit for a minute because it's very, very hydrating and I don't need it to be super juicy like it is. So I just let it sit for a little bit and then I go in and blend it out after it's set for a while. I let it marinate, I let it marinate. So now I'm gonna blend that baby out. 
And I've been going back to the ways of old, right? And I've been using my beauty blender to set under my eye. It still works wonderfully. But I like my wedge too, but I don't know. I don't know why I stopped. The technical difficulties that is going down on today. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're gonna contour and we're gonna make it quick because, yo. These technical difficulties on today. I'm a little nervous because I'm about to use one of these Becca powders and um, I tried it on yesterday without like any type of foundation. And so we're gonna see, I'm a contour with it too. So let me just show you guys. So this color right here is dark golden and that is the color I'm gonna contour with, which that is perfectly fine for me. This is another color you may wanna contour with, which is deep bronze. Now for my chocolate chocolate sisters, this is gonna be great. Now one thing that I found is that when you do swatch them, they are a little bit darker. That's why I said I'm a little nervous because I'm gonna try the one that worked yesterday, but I didn't have on any foundation. And this color is Warm Honey. And this is the color that I'm gonna powder with. So life should be great with this. I'm surely hoping so. Warm Honey is a little bit red, but I can make it work out. The package said they are a finishing powder. You can use them to set your concealer. Um, I forget what else it says, but we're using it to set the whole face today. Oh, it says you can use it as a foundation. It says full coverage foundation. So, all right, Becca. I have really, really high cheekbones. I really don't have to contour if I don't want to, but since I choose to, I like to do a light hand. So dark golden, are you? Yes, dark golden. Let's do this. And, oh, that's really pretty. That is perfect for me, actually. But I'm gonna swatch this deep bronze for you, too, only because inquiring minds wanna know, I'm sure. So this is the deep bronze. See how deep that is? I don't need that much deepness or that much depth when I contour, this is perfect. This color raisin, I think I wanna use. Right here, I wanna use raisin. Mm, my palette. And then I'm gonna go into Sweetest Cocoa. Man, that was a holy grail back in the day. And it has a little bit of sheen to it. See, it's perfect. Okay, so. Now this Sweetest Cocoa kind of reminds me of how those Becca blushes are, those luminous blushes. It like reminds me of that. Come through blush, come through. Look at my brush, y'all. We've been through some things. We've been through some things. So we're gonna just act like that didn't happen. Bam. <laughs> So let's figure out which one of these I want to use by LA Girl. I think kind of like a light bulb is where they're going with this. So this is 20 watt. This is 60 watt. Now when I swatched these last night on Periscope, they looked really, really good. Especially this one. But I think that I'm going to start off subtle and then we're going to build it up if we have to. Ooh, a lot came on that brush. And then just start off. They're not bad though, guys. I'm going to be bold. Bold and beautiful. I like them together. Well, look at that. All right, I see you, LA girl. I wanted to move back a little bit so I don't look like totally naked, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I am gonna try this lip pencil by The Bomb, but I'm gonna use it as a like complete lipstick. And it is in the color I Really Dig You. And I love their packaging and I love the whole theme of all their products. Cause this says, you must be a treasure. Cause I really dig you. And then it's called I Really Dig You. And I think I'm gonna top it with my Maybelline Shine Shot. So let's try this and see how it works. Now this is the MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick. And I used this in a video, actually a swatch video. Like y'all saw that. Well, if you didn't, I'll link it. Do Chestnut Liner by MAC and then Toast and Butter. And finally, I'm about to put on this black one because I want to. Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with a really, really quick video only because it is like super duper early in the morning and I have to get out of here. CK be me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CK Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the CK Beauty. Yeah, CK Beauty.
debut.